Welcome to my channel once again. In this video, we are going to solve these two simultaneous equations using the method of substitution. And the question is, find the value of x and y in the following using the method of substitution. So let's start with a. Which is x minus y is equal to 3. So I'll name the first one equation 1. And then we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 1. I'll name these two as equation 2. So with the method of substitution, you pick one of the equations and then make one of the variable the subject. So if I pick equation 1, let's say I'm going to make x a subject. So I'm going to get, now make x the subject in equation 1. So if I do that, I'm going to get x is equal to 3 plus y. And this will give us our equation 3. Now we are going to fix equation 3 into equation 2. So that we get the value for y. So you put equation 3 into equation 2. So this is our equation 2. And then equation 3 is x is equal to 3 plus y. So whatever we see x, then you fix 3 plus y over there. So we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 1. Now we have x here. So we are going to substitute 3 plus y in place of x. So now we have 2 multiplying 3 plus y is equal plus 3y is equal to 1. Now let's expand this bracket. So I'm going to get 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 times y is 2y plus 3y is equal to 1. So here we have 6 plus 5y is equal to 1. Then we want to make y the subject. So we transpose 6 to the right hand side. So 6 is positive here. When it crosses the equal sign becomes negative. We are going to have 5y is equal to 1 minus 6. Now we have 5y is equal to 1 minus 6 gives minus 5. So we want y, not 5y. So we are going to divide both side by 5, this side by 5. Now y is equal to negative 1. So now we have y to be negative 1. So we are left with x. So we, we go back to equation 3. And then fix y is equal to negative 1 in place of y here. So from equation 3, we have x is equal to 3 plus y. So x is equal to 3 minus 1 because y is minus 1 here. So we're going to have 3 minus 1. So x is 2. So the values of x and y in the first equation is um, negative 1 and then 2. So the values of x and y are negative 1 sorry, 2 and negative 1, respectively. So let's move on to the second part, the B part. So I'm going to write the first one as equation 1. 6 over x minus 4 over y is equal to 1. So this will become equation 1. And then 9 over x minus 8 over y is equal to 1. So this becomes equation 2. So now as you said, as you said earlier on, you said if you want 
to use the method of substitution, you have to make one variable the subject. So I'm going to pick equation one. You can also pick equation two. But I'm using equation one. And then make one of the variables the subject. But this question looks quite different. We are having it in a fraction form. So we have to find the LCM first. So we are making make x the subject in equation one. So we have 6 over x minus 4 over y is equal to 1. And the LCM here is xy. So we are going to multiply 2 by xy. So xy multiplying 6 over x minus xy multiplying 4 over y is equal to 1 times xy. Now, x go for x, y go for y. So we are left with 6y minus 4x is equal to xy. Now, what are we looking for? We want to make x a subject. So let's transpose minus 4x to this side. So 6y is equal to xy plus 4x. Now, we want x. We have x here, x here, so we can factorize s out. So we are going to get x out, s out, we'll be left with y plus 4. y plus 4 is equal to 6y. Now we want x, so we divide this side by y plus 4. So x is equal to 6y over y plus 4. So this becomes equation 3. Now we've gotten equation three, so we fix equation three into equation two. So we have equation two as this. So putting equation three into equation two. What are you getting? We have nine over x is here, so we fix. 6y all over y plus 4 minus 8 over y is equal to 1. So this one, we can do something about this. We can write this as 9 times, then we reciprocate the denominator to get y plus 4 all over 6y minus 8 over y is equal to 1. So this one I'm going to get y 9 multiplied by this. We get 9 into y plus 4 all over 6y minus 8 over y is equal to 1. Let me clean this part. Now we have 6 here, 9 here. So 3 can go into 6 2 times and then go into 9 3 times. So we are going to have 3 into y plus 4 all over 2y minus 8 over y is equal to 1. Now the LCM here is 2y, so I want to multiply both sides by 2y. So 2y multiplying 3 into y plus 4 all over 2y minus 8 over y times 2y is equal to 1 times 2y. Now 2y, take care of 2y. So we are left with 3 into y plus 4 minus a to take care of y to take care of y so we are left with 8 times 2 and 8 times 2 is 16 minus 16 is equal to 2y now let's expand this bracket we are going to get 3 times y is 3y 3 times 4 is 12 
minus 16 is equal to 2y. Now, 3y, we have 12 minus 16, which gives minus 4, is equal to 2y. So let's bring 2y to this side and the minus 4 to this side. So 3y minus 2y is equal to 4. Now we have 3y minus 2y, which gives y is equal to 4. So this is the value for y. Now let's fix y is equal to 4 into equation 3 to so get the value of x. So x is equal to 6 multiplied by 4 all over 4 plus 4. And 6 times 4 gives 24. Over 4 plus 4 is 8. And I think 2 can go into 8 4 times. 4 times and then 2 can go into 24 12 times. 2 will also go here 2 times and 2 will go here 6 times. 2 go here 1 and then 2 go here 3. So the answer is 3.